So with solo leveling arise, the pre-download is now available. I'm sure most of you uh, have already downloaded. If you haven't, well, get on it. Make sure to do so now. With downloading it, of course, you've got the well, well, you can download on iOS, Android, and also the PC client is also available. Um, if you do want to go down the route of getting it on an, on an emulator, I highly, highly recommend LD Player. It's what I recommended at the very beginning, and it's what I'm going to recommend now due to the fact that it just doesn't slow down your PC. That's what I'll say on that one. And then, of course, if you do have a controller because you want to use your controller, there is a gamepad option for LD Player. So you can just connect your controller in, set up your controls uh, in terms of placing the buttons so that when you do play, uh, let's say you use your Xbox controller, when you press A, then it's clicking on the specific skill that you have placed the 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 mapping on. So yeah, you just click on mapping, and then you just kind of place everything where it needs to go. If you want to use the emulator to um, uh, play Solo Leveling Rise, it is an option. Um, now the reason why I mention this is because yes, we're downloading it, and yes, we're kind of waiting to uh, play the game. Um, also, here are the requirements too. Just so you guys can check that out. I know some people might not have their PC up to scratch to play on PC, but they want to play on PC, then again, you can use um, your LD player. Now, with downloading it, once you're all that is done, the next realistic thing, which I know some people are going to be looking at, is re-rolling, right? At the end of the day, that is what most people are going to be doing because you want to start your account off in the best way possible and not have to invest a lot in, right? Kind of start the game off in the best way possible and that at that point, you can then go into investing if you choose to or whatnot, right? And so through that, what is the best way to reroll? How can you go about rerolling the best way? Now, typically, it would come down to you just uh, logging into the game, doing the tutorial, summoning, not getting what you want, and then exiting the game to then delete the data, or doing the whole guest account shenanigans, of course. And that is pretty much what is going to be happening for Solo Leveling Arise. Now, let me make one thing clear: if you are preparing to reroll, do not reroll. On the PC client, do not root because rerolling on the PC client will require you to have actual accounts and that being multiple actual login accounts. So if you are truly committed to rerolling and wanting to start solo leveling the best way possible, don't make the mistake I did. <laughs> do not reroll on PC. Thankfully, um, I got lucky. I think it took me three accounts to actually get my account going, so I got lucky. But if you are wanting to reroll, re-roll either on the emulator or on your mobile phone because you can create a guest account on the pc emulator sorry on the, on the pc client there is no option to create a guest account so i did a whole video on it already because i was actually live streaming when i was told all of this i was i was in, I was in a call with my boy anthony and people were just informing us that uh, with the re-rolling side of things it's a lot easier so as you guys can see i'm on the game i'm doing the tutorial you know i get to the stage where i'm doing my summons and um yeah, you know things didn't exactly go my way and so after this what you want to do is you head over to your settings you go over to the account settings and then you go to delete game account now again if you are on an account that's already logged into let's say an email or google play or an ios account of course um even though you're deleting it and even though it says it'll delete whatever if you log back in into that account of course um the info stays so the reason why I'm mentioning LD player or emulators and iOS and Android devices is because you can create a guest account. If you create a guest account, um, you can pretty much delete everything. And then when you re-log back in, you can do it on so a new fresh guest account. So nothing stays. You don't need to worry about having multiple accounts at the ready. It is quick and easy re-rolling. Now, I know some of you guys are going to probably wonder, oh, that means I've got to do all the tutorial again. This is where re-rolling on Solo Living Garage is just an absolute godsend. So, you delete the account, you're back on the main menu, and you click on the guest account, and then when it comes to you then tapping the screen and logging on in, this message comes up, quick skip. You have completed the tutorial before. Do you want to skip it? You can choose to play the tutorial again, which I feel like no one will, or you can skip it and just get on with um, like the, the summoning side of things. So this is an absolute godsend. I love Netmarble for this. And then you pretty much go skip tutorial, you will log on in with your new fresh account and then you know you'll do your logins um, if you want to immediately go into summons you can do so it pretty much puts you in a state to where you have full control of the game itself so you can immediately you know get your gifts and whatnot and just start summoning or you can just play the game just a tad bit as i what i did just to accumulate a little bit more summons and um, hopefully pull some 
good, good weapon. So I managed to pull um, one of the best, or if not currently the best SR weapon in the game. So I was happy at, so I didn't know that at the time, but I'm happy about that pull. And then going further, pulled the Fire Grimmer weapon, which is not the best, unfortunately. And then when it came to the Choice Raider banner, um, got the Night Killer, not bad, one not bad, so two decent SRs. And then I managed to get the Demon King Longsword, which is a, yeah, eight, well, if, if I, if, mm, it's, it's, it's one tier below like max tier, I would say. If I if it if it's duped out to a third, then or three dupes in, then it's it's SS tier. So I singled this bad boy <laughs> out of nowhere, and then just to kind of help me out with my account to make it sure it's the perfect one, I got joy. So that solidified my account. And again, if things didn't go my way, I could have just delete the account, and then I could just re-log in, do a guest account, and then it will take me back straight to this part right here and then I will be back with a new fresh account re-rolling over and over and over again until I'm happy with the account that I want. So that's that. Now just before we end it here, uh, I forgot to mention this in the previous video when it came, when I, when it came to me talking about um, the global rewards and whatnot. Um, we surpassed 15 million pre-registration. God damn. And for that we are going to be getting um, Jinwoo's uh, black suit. We're going to be getting the Armed Legendary uh, Artifact set, which will increase our attack and let us ignore attack and defense from the enemy, which is beautiful. We're getting two sets of each element mana crystals, which will help us out in crafting um, SSR weapons. Uh, we're getting altogether 200k gold, which is actually a hefty amount. I wish more would be given, <laughs> since gold is very precious. And uh, yeah, we're going to be getting an SR Jinho, which is uh, a fantastic SR um, light breaker. Probably one of the best, as some would say. So, yeah. So that is pretty much all of the pre-registrations on what we're going to be getting. Um, I'm sure there's, I'm, well, I'm, I'm sure there'll be more rewards to be given out. But um, yeah, there you go. That, that's that's the pre-registration rewards on on all together what we're going to be getting when you log in in your gift box. All right. But yeah, if you are going to re-roll, either do it on your mobile phones or your or your emulator. If you're that hell bent on re-rolling, um, if you're not, if you don't care, then just play it on wherever you want. But I would again really really suggest to avoiding pc client if you are looking to re-roll that that's basically it other than that enjoy have fun um i'll have to talk about on who you want to re-roll for now <laughs> that's going to be interesting uh but yeah that is pretty much uh everything on the whole downloading and where to re-roll and how it'll go about the tutorial um the tutorial isn't that long just an fyi i it'll, i think once you get through it like around about 15 minutes in 20 minutes in somewhere around there i think probably less than that um then you'll be pretty much chilling because then that message will pop up, uh, pop up. So yeah, that, that, that's all you have to do. So it's not too bad of a tutorial. So once you get that out of the way, a one-time deal, you can start re-rolling very consistently and more quickly.